Hey, it's Tim, K5OHY. I'm out at my local park and I wanted to try something a little different today. My last two videos were on a budget Challenger build, which is a vertical off-center fed half wave using a four to one unend that I built. Now I got to thinking that that antenna is actually very close to a non-resonant multi-band antenna that's pretty popular called the Rybakov, which is a 25 foot radiating element, a four to one unend, and then some radials. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to try this antenna out uh, on a few different bands uh, using a tuner and adding some more radials. And then um, I was thinking of working my way down from 10 meters to 20 meters. And of course on 20 meters, I'll unclip those radials and I should have a resonant uh, antenna that'll be a little more efficient. And that's really the problem with some of the non-resonant antennas. Some non-resident antennas are not very efficient. You, you have a lot of loss um, from high SWR on the coax. Uh, you have ground losses from uh, ground radials. You have some loss from any matching units you have. So there's, there's a lot of things that are, that are kind of working against you. Um, I, I saw a really interesting presentation on something called the Super Rybakov. And uh, he kind of addressed some of those things. Uh, first, you can decrease losses if you put your tuner right at the feed point, so you don't have a high SWR on the coax. I don't have a remote tuner yet, so I can't do that. Um, the other things you can do is um, elevate your radials so you're not gonna have as much ground loss. Now that's something I can do. So uh, let me show you what I have set up, and then uh, I'm gonna do a quick activation. I don't have a whole lot of time uh, it's Wednesday and I'm hoping to make it back here in about an hour and a half for the um, CW up CWT. So uh, I'm going to do a fairly quick activation and I just wanted to see if I could make contacts on a few different bands with this configuration. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what I have set up. So for this activation I decided to use my G90. Um, first of all it's got 20 watts and it's got a really good tuner so that should work well with the Rybakov antenna. Um, and of course I got my key and some headphones. Uh, fairly simple setup. And then for a battery, I'm just using my um, little battery box I built a long time ago. It's a 20 amp hour battery. And then over here, uh, I've got the antenna set up on a 31 foot pole and it's not all the way extended, but it's almost. The feed point's about uh, three and a half, four feet off the ground. Um, so I've got a choke here. This is the four to one unin. And then um, what I have is on these electric fence posts on either side of the antenna are uh, elevated radials. Now they're not hooked up right now because I was just making sure the tuning for 20 meters was still good. So when I'm ready to use it on other bands, I'm just gonna clip on the radials and then see if the G90 will tune it and uh, hopefully make some contacts on a few different bands. So what I'll probably do is uh, start on 10 meters and just kind of work my way down to 20 meters. Once I get to 20 meters, I'm just gonna unclip the radials and hopefully uh, have a decent antenna on 20 meters. I'll share the results of my activation with you here in a few minutes. So here I am on 10 meters and uh, I just hit the tune button and we've got uh, we got a really good match uh, with the tuner. So I'm gonna go ahead and call CQ and then uh, work my way down the bands and see how that works out. Okay, so I just finished up my activation and I was able to work, um, I made contacts on five different bands, but I tried seven bands. Um, so I started on 10 meters, I made eight contacts, 12 contacts on 12 meters. Even though the match on 12 meters wasn't the best, I think it was two to one, and the radio was only putting out about 10 watts. Uh, but still, still made a, quite a few contacts. I jumped down to 15 meters and uh, even got a little bit of DX on 15 meters. Uh, 17 meters made six contacts and then I didn't stay on 20 meters very long. I made 13 contacts. Uh, what was interesting is on 20 meters, um, there was quite a bit of QSB and uh, signals were a little bit down, so that was kind of interesting. Um, I did jump down to 30 meters. It tuned the antenna fine. Um, I, hit, I hit a few RBN spots that were, seemed decent and uh, hopefully I'll go over the RBN spots later and kind of share the screenshots with you. So here's a quick look at my RBN spots from this activation. Uh, I started on 10 meters and I had quite a few spots on 10 meters. I had 30 and I probably was only on the band about 10 minutes. Um, so 
some of them are, are, are quite good, um, but as you can see, coast to coast on 10 meters. Uh, this was 12 meters. I had 16 spots. The average was 11 uh, dB, so not not too bad, but but quite a few very very weak ones. 15 meters. I had 20 RBN spots. The average was 13. The max was 29 dB. Um, as you can see, I got I got up into the northeast quite quite well. On 17 meters, uh, looking pretty good. I had a few fairly strong uh, spots up towards New York. Um, 21 total spots, uh, average was 14. And then on 20 meters, now 20 meters I'm expecting it to be a little bit better because um, I unclipped the radials and I used it as the challenger. So this was a resonant antenna um, that did not use the tuner. And as you can see, um, a lot of these spots were, were fairly strong um, up in the Midwest. So uh, looking pretty good there. So 21 spots, the average was 25, the max was 41 dB. Um, on 30 meters, I didn't make any contacts, but uh, my signal was getting out okay. Now the thing to note about the Rybakov, um, the lower frequencies are going to be uh, fairly inefficient because this is only a 25 foot radiating element. So even though it works, uh, don't expect anything, any kind of miracles on 30 and 40 meters. Uh, and I, I did hit a, a spot near Austin in central Texas on 40 meters. Um, so anyway, that, those are the spots. Um, the antenna performed uh, fairly well according to the RBN. Uh, 40 meter contacts during the day here are pretty difficult just because I'm in a very sparsely populated area. So um, it, it's not very common for me to make 40 meter contacts during the day. Anyway, I think this antenna worked pretty well. Um, in fact, a lot better than I thought it would. So I might try this again sometime. Um, you know, very simple antenna and the fact that you can use it on a bunch of different bands uh, makes it useful. Uh, it may not be the most efficient antenna, but if you're making contacts, that's, uh, that's really all that matters. 73, hope to see you on the air.